What's going on guys? Welcome to another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and this is actually a midnight edition of me ripping some packs here trying to trigger the pack luck once again just in case this blitz collection item set is no longer in the game when you see the video since it says it expires Tuesday December 1st maybe they haven't taken it out of the game yet maybe they have by the time you're watching this but we have now entered the last and final item here with the door opening and of course it was night train lane like we all knew it would be for 200 blitz tickets to get the 97 overall night train lane and I gotta tell you guys if you put all these blitz tickets in you are sitting probably at the bottom of this set just spamming it over and over and over adding all your items and I don't even know how long that probably would have taken so if you did complete the night train lane set let me know in the comments below how long it took you to collect all of the blitz tickets because I'm curious to find out. I mean, it probably took a good bit, but once the night train lane started going up on the auction block, they were flying off the auction block, people buying them, reselling them, people undercutting each other. So here we go. Let's go ahead and check out his current price sitting at 1.1 million coins. There you guys have it. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. 97 overall. Of course, almost everyone that participated in the promo was chasing after him. He's got 99 zone coverage, 95 speed, 94 acceleration and man coverage, 91 press, 90 agility and play rec with 89 catching. And he also features 99 hit power and 96 jumping. So here you guys have it. Night Train Lane has dropped an ultimate team. How do you guys feel about his attributes? Maybe we're going to see some other players upcoming with the Christmas promo that will match along with him perfectly, but we're just going to have to see what other players that they're planning on putting out. Someone actually won a bid on that one for 995k, but there's the 97 overall night train lane that a lot of people were looking forward to. So now what we're going to do is check out the item that I'm trying to open packs for and pull right now and that's none other than the Luke Keekly which is currently in packs so let's get it guys let's go ahead and check out his item and see that he is 93 overall 320,000 coins will get you this Luke Keekly or if you pull it that's how much you can sell him for the limited time this week for team of the week 99 pursuit 97 tackling 96 play rec also featuring 89 awareness 88 block shed and hit power with 87 speed that could have been a little higher 85 zone coverage he also features 92 acceleration and 92 jumping so there's our hero that's in packs we have russell wilson who is the set this week for team of the week so now that we've taken a look at both luke keekley and the end of the cyber monday promo for night train lane you know if you got julio jones and mean joe green if you got all three of those which i don't know if you could have had that many blitz tickets you would have had to rip in packs and packs and packs like all week long but let's go ahead and open some packs guys i'm trying to pull this luke keekly let's see if we can pull him out of a pro pack so here we go nothing too spectacular like i said it is midnight and we're trying to trigger some pack luck Hopefully, we're going to get something crazy out of the seven pro packs. I'm also going to try my luck in the gold player upgrade as well. So here we go, guys. The pro pack. Let's go ahead and dip on into these seven packs. We're looking for possibly a Ryan Kerrigan. Just any of the team of the week items. And in the first pack, the very first player, guys, an 87 overall road to the playoffs, Pierre Garçon. I couldn't be more happy right now. This is starting off pretty spectacular for me for this pack opening, guys. So let's go ahead and get it. 87 overall Pierre Garçon in the very first pack. I love how this has turned out so far. The pack luck is with me. So let's go ahead and jump on in to pack number two, guys. If you haven't heard by now, the Schefter star this week is going to be none other than Jarvis Landry. So if you're looking forward to picking up his item that's going to help you guys, become dual style masters you're going to need him as well if you haven't already done that a lot of people are having some difficulties and to be honest with you guys i haven't even started it yet i would like to it's something i did not get a chance to do last year in ultimate team and if you guys have some leftover blitz tickets this is what i want to say if you have some leftover blitz tickets and you did not have a chance 
to complete any sets do you think they should put like a leftover set or something in the game where you can at least you know get a little bit of value for those blitz tickets since we opened so many packs and had so many blitz tickets you know maybe you gambled just to see how much night train lane would cost you ended up having more than the 200 blitz tickets it took to knock out his set i don't know but it just feels like for the bundles that everyone purchased to chase after night train lane they would do something for everyone that has a few of these blitz tickets left over we pull an 83 overall joe flacco guys how do you feel about the ending of that game last night that was ridiculously crazy obviously something you know that i've seen before with the kick six but wow i mean it was crazy like just to see it blocked like that and it was almost a mirror image of the florida state and georgia tech game earlier this season but yeah guys i was hoping for gary barnage to get me about 10 more points i was pulling for overtime in that game i would have won some money in fan duel but it is what it is here we go guys keekley's in this pack and we pull major right a 75 overall i don't know what it is like these limited time players you think they've got to at some point this year in ultimate team let me pack a legend let me get one of these limited time heroes that would be clutch i mean i don't even know how loud i would scream we pulled Jameis winston unfortunately not the one i would have loved to pull you know with the 92 overall football outsider we had last week or whatever he was 92 93 i can't remember but anyways guys we have one pack left and we also have the russell wilson collectible in packs as well so if we can't get an elite player out of this pack we've had a good opening but is it possible to end with a collectible for the set guys let's get it let's see if we can clutch another elite while we're at it the last card an 80 overall fullback i don't know if that may be valuable i know some fullbacks have a lot of value here in ultimate team but with him being in a road to the playoffs program that may have a bit of value i want to check that here in just a moment but we also have a couple of gold player packs we can pull elites out of this unfortunately for me up until this point in the year i have not done that just yet and i would love to that's why i keep doing these sets when i'm clearing out my binder hoping i can eventually pack an elite player so here we go guys let's see if we can get it if not maybe we can get something that is super valuable a 75 overall brandon oliver and the last and final pack the gold player pack we're going to get an 83 overall center with Eric Wood so there you guys have it we opened seven packs and actually I think we did pretty good you know especially since we pulled Garcon in the very first pro pack let's go to the binder and check out what value we're sitting on right here I know there's a couple guys I'm interested in checking out the value before we end the video here first we're gonna check out the fullback I'm not expecting him to have you know a lot of value but you never know hey 4,000 5,000 coins that's not bad that's almost getting them the uh, coins back for the price of one of the packs but let's go ahead and switch quality to elite and we're going to end the video by checking the price of the road to the playoffs pull in the very first pack maybe we can get some of this coins back that we did for pulling the bundle 13k uh i guess we could say we made about 20,000 coins back out of the seven packs we spent like 52,000 to grab it so it wasn't that bad I mean, I could always throw this into one of the Elite Player Pack sets if that's what I want to do, if I want to upgrade and try to pull a Keekly that way. But I don't know, guys. Have you pulled a Keekly in Ultimate Team? And did you do the 200 Blitz ticket set for Night Train Lane? That is crazy. I was watching him on the auction block on your release. I told you guys, some people were putting him up for 700k, 800k, and now he has settled at around 1 million coins. So hopefully everyone that participated in the Black Friday through Cyber Monday promo in Ultimate Team had a fantastic time. It was a really nice idea and a lot of people got all sorts of crazy rewards from all of the sets. Overall, very fun promo. So as always, I will ask that if you guys enjoyed the video to go ahead and shatter the like button and subscribe for more. So until next time guys, Roll Tide.